The rebellion is in shambles. With the recent loss of their leader, they are struggling. But this defeat was not without a victory of its own. For in his final moments, he secured an artifact of great importance. This blade was paramount to the Triumvirate's leadership of Alestia. And without it, their tyrannical grip on the people would surely falter. Having no choice, they give their Grand Inquisitor one simple order. Destroy the Rebellion and retrieve the Lost Blade of the Triumvirate. But Dormek, the new leader of the Rebels, has set other plans in motion. Hiding the Blade in Valinor, he is confident that it will be protected. This sheltered hamlet is now custodian to the weapon that would liberate the world. And so, it would be met with a gruesome fate by the Triumvirate and their Grand Inquisitor. The Elder would let me let that one down. Are you even paying attention? I know who you are, Sarah. Did you hit your head or something? Valessa has our safety in mind, okay? Forgive her hot-headedness for me. Freedom isn't too much farther. We need to stay calm and think this through. Two guys like us, we should have no problem. We'll be safe and sound before you know it. Look, they're dying because they panicked. We need to stay calm and think through this together. If we freak out, we'll only end up like them, you know? She has a point. Our first instinct was to run, but so was theirs. We should let them face the brunt of this attack. What else are we supposed to do? We're not equipped to take them on alone. But using them like pawns, Ulrich. The people of Valinorth deserve more than that. Do you have any better ideas? If we try to save them all, we'll die. I'm here to protect you two, not kill you. It must be the smoke. Make sure to sit down. The lower you are right now, the better. Are you having trouble breathing? Yeah, something else is going on here. He's been acting strange for a while now. Is there something you need to tell us? Did some debris fall on your head back there? I'm starting to side with Valessa on this one. Come on, time to gear you up.
I don't care what's going on in that head of yours, but it's not more important than your survival. We're all overwhelmed. It's not just you. Take it. We won't be standing here forever. As soon as we leave this alcove, we'll be vulnerable. I can't take care of you all the time, you know. Now that's what I like to hear. I'll feel better if you have something to fight with. Vanessa has her daggers, but you had nothing. Now then, it's time to move. Seems like some of the noise has finally died down. We should start by investigating the town square. You are confused about all this, right? I bet you don't even know what being the seer means. Or how we've known each other for our entire lives. That's normal, but please listen. We only have a few moments before Ulrich notices we're not there. The seer is special. You wield spirits to induce prophetic visions. When you have these visions, you're unable to remember anything. When you wake up, you'll dismiss it as a dream and forget it ever happened. As your scribe, it's my job to help you take advantage of this. We have to follow Ulrich now, but know one thing. The way you're acting, I'm certain this is a vision. That means you can use it for information. I'm relieved. This means Valnorth is still fine. <laughs> when you wake up, use this vision to save everyone. It's your duty as seer to ensure this doesn't become real. The prisoner mentions Valinorth over and over. The rebels are hiding something of importance there. Along with recent events, we can only surmise one thing. The Blade of Exodus. I am almost certain. But if that's where they've chosen to hide it, it means that our other target is also there. Your compliance pleases us, Sophie. Your plan was risky. But it worked out in the end. A final interrogation would influence our decision further. You'd have me interrogate the prisoner once more. If I may be so bold, to what end do you request this? Not you, Sophie. We want your apprentice to do this. It is time for him to prove his worth. My apprentice? I've told you many times I want to work alone. It would be more efficient for me to do this myself. In subordination, this is unbecoming of you, Sophie. We demand that you obey. The role of Grand Inquisitor can be very dangerous. If we were to lose you, a replacement would be necessary. You must train this replacement while you still breathe. As you command. Interrogation? Hmm. And what would you have me extract? I thought the prisoner was at his wit's end. Anything to confirm our suspicions about Valinorth. If you fail, 
I will not hesitate to punish you. Remember what we're on the verge of. I understand, Master. I'll do my best to get you what you need. What are the... <laughs> limits when it comes to my approach? Keep him alive, Halen. I find that psychological pain is the most valid approach. He cares more for his rebel allies than he does for himself. Then I will threaten the rebellion's very core. I'm grateful to have this opportunity, Master. Things are starting to line up well for me. They tend to do that when you have the Triumvirate's blessing. We should take care of this immediately and catch them unprepared. Every moment we waste is a moment they gain, Halen. So it's finally going to happen, isn't it? What we've been waiting for all these years. Do you think we should tell Sophie our true plan? So, someone different has finally come. What are you, the Executioner or something? I figured it was only a matter of time. Actually, Sovi said to keep you alive. You seem to underestimate your value, Shane. You think I'm important? That's not what I expected to hear. Don't take it the wrong way. You must not know what I meant. You're important as a bargaining chip, and the fact I must keep you alive is a curse. When I'm through with you, <laughs> you'll beg for death. You see, I'm different from Sovi. He's past the bar, they no longer need to test him. But I'm in the position where results must happen. When we give you back, you'll be a broken man. And soon after, the foundation of the Rebellion will crumble. You think we don't know that Damik is your leader? What? You'd be stupid not to think we have inside men. I could order Damik's execution in a matter of seconds. You don't value your life. But you value his. Good. Now, I expect you to answer my questions. The Blade of Exodus. Is it in Valinorth Village? And the one who can wield it? Do they live there as well? to cease your resistance! Those who support the Rebellion must perish! Melissa, your dagger! Spirits, please forgive my misdeeds. I acted only to protect those under my watch. Huh? What's going on? Ulrich, what are those things? I don't know. Come closer, you two. This doesn't feel right. Empty suits of armor with a hatred for the Rebellion? Only those who've mastered the spirits could do this. I'm afraid this is much larger than we thought. 
But that can't be true. The spirits are pure. They aid us. Yeah, sure looks like they wanted to help. It's not my only concern, though. Look at this. Do you recognize these colors, Ulrich? No, why would I? Gold and white. The triumvirate's standard. I would have never made such a deduction, but only they could wield the spirits in this fashion. I suppose it protect us. Some, even the creators of Alestia. I have no idea why they'd want to do this to us. Wouldn't be the first time they attempted occupation. They hinted that the Rebellion was involved here. Valesa, do you know anything about that? I don't. So much has changed lately. With our last Elder gone, Nihilus has been in charge. Maybe he has something to tell us. It's worth a shot. We should see if he's alive. Protecting you is my goal, but now I want answers. If anyone knows about this, it would be him. To the Elder's house, then. Yeah. Aren't you glad we waited now? If we rushed in head first, we'd be dead. Then where are the villagers' bodies? I only see the suits of armor lying around. That's a good sign. Then they won and fled to safety. Are there any havens in Valinorth? Say the Elder's house and the Grand Tree. The fire may not have reached either yet. Wait, how many people can fit in the Grand Tree? Hundreds, easily. Not as good of a sign as I thought. The enemy could be trying to round everyone up, put them all in one place before killing them. But it works. We still don't know what they're after. It can't be genocide. It must be something else. Does Valinorth have anything the Triumvirate would want? Did the change in leadership bring anything Like I said, we'd have to talk to Milas. But I doubt he'd be at the Grand Train. But what if there are people in the Grand Tree? Is Milas more important than all of them? It would be cold to let everyone die. Ulrich, this is larger than Valinorth. I don't like what you're suggesting. Like it's any better than what you suggested? Using the people as pawns to buy us time? How is this any different? This is a matter of Valinor's future. Such things are under the jurisdiction of the Seer. I stand by his side, and you stand by both of ours. That is, unless you want to abandon your job. But that wouldn't look good on your perfect record. Hmm. <laughs> I guess you can fight dirty too. I don't like this, but you have me by the throat. I can only hope that you make the right choice. What are we going to do? Good to know we're on the same page. Milas can't be the only one with information. Are you sure about this? Remember what we talked about.
Hmm. Valinorth. The Blade of Exodus. There must be something the spirits aren't telling us. Something we could use to take down the Triumvirate. When I touched the blade, I saw our victory. But I'm not trained to interpret such things. I pray for the cooperation of Valinorth. Another one of those sleepless nights, Damek? I can't blame you. It's been the same with me. Did I hear you say something about Valinorth? Yeah, I was uh, thinking out loud. In Valinorth, there's a person who can peer into the future. That's why I had Pro bring the blade there last week. I'm aware of their culture, but their seers use spirits, not a blade. Do you think it will be that easy? Worth a gamble, isn't it? It's not my place to wield knowledge of the future. But the seers are experts, conditioned from birth. Pro has sent word that the current seer is male. His investigation is progressing slower than I'd like. We need to pick up the pace, and fast. Now that they have the blade, they're a target. The Triumvirate is likely planning their attack as we speak. That's why I've decided to send an experienced fighter. I guess that's me. I've had the Mayor of Mazio write up a decree. It will allow you entry and the ability to complete what Pro started. On paper, and to everyone else, it's a simple export. Only Mylas knows the importance of this blade. All you have to do is deliver it from Valinorth back to me. That is, with the Seer at your side, Ulrich. You seem to think that will be easy. It's not likely they know the truth of Valinorth. I can bring the Seer, but they'll just decline. Present yourself as a mercenary, not a rebel. Tell them a meeting of importance is happy in Mazio. We want their ability to help with some... Hmm, important decisions. Dishonesty. Great way to start a partnership. It worked for us, don't you remember? Look at how invaluable you've become. So this is it, isn't it? With the seer at our side, they can direct us. We can secure the victory that you witnessed. I almost don't believe it, but it's true. Now I have to be honest with you, Ulrich. There's a reason why I'm sending you instead of asking Pro. And what's that? He may not be strong enough to face what's coming. It's not just a hunch that Valinorth will be attacked. In our victory, I saw its death and destruction. I see. So I ask that you protect the Seer and his allies at all costs. And when you come across Pro, have him join you as well. I'll make sure- I'll leave first thing in the morning. What did you see exactly? Nothing you can't fight your way out of, but trust me, it will show them the truth. And when you get back, they'll be ready to fight. But promise me one thing, and one thing only. That along the way the Seer touches the blade. If he can wield it, then we have our greatest weapon.